I'm here today to talk about the future, about opening the window to plastic solar cells which are produced cheaply like printing a newspaper. For the benefit of audience members born in the 90s, a newspaper is a printed publication <laughs> consisting of folded, unstapled sheets containing news, feature articles, advertisements, and correspondence. The threat of irreversible climate change and projected rapid increases in global energy demand has highlighted the need for renewable sources of energy to power the society of the future. Solar cells, which convert sunlight into electricity, hold great promise, as they generate electricity without producing harmful pollutants such as carbon dioxide. The most commonly used material to make solar cells is silicon. The disadvantage of this approach is the high cost related to both the purification of silicon and the fabrication techniques of silicon solar cells. An alternative approach, which may provide cost-effective solar energy conversion, is to use plastic solar materials. The fabrication of a plastic solar cell resembles that of making a newspaper. A newspaper is formed by a roller pressing an ink onto paper. A plastic solar cell is made by a roller pressing a liquid solution containing plastic solar materials onto a flexible sheet. This process is faster and much less expensive than the processes used to make silicon cells. However, although plastic solar cells may provide significant cost benefits, the problem is that the absorption window of plastic solar cells is significantly smaller than that of silicon cells. This limits the amount of power emitted from the sun, which can be converted into electricity. My research shows that combining two different plastic solar materials with complementary absorption windows can vastly enlarge the overall absorption window of a plastic solar cell, thus overcoming one of the main roadblocks for achieving high efficiency cells. My research consists of a careful optimization and understanding of the concentrations of these two complementary materials. As we can see in the picture within the red circle, I've shown that the response of the standard plastic solar cell is significantly improved by controlling the amount of this second complementary material. This advancement improves the viability of plastic solar cells, which could render solar as a suitable source of renewable energy. Although this technology is still in its infancy, the results so far are encouraging. We must find a solution to the rising challenge of climate change, and this is it. This is our window to affordable solar cells and a cleaner future. Thank you.